Now let's go to that ongoing uh, drama unfolding out uh, on the waters uh, around Christmas Island. And joining us on the phone is Joe Meehan from the Australian Maritime Safety Authority in Canberra. Do appreciate your time. I know it's extremely busy. We've had three people confirmed dead now. Uh, I guess where you're expecting that number to really increase. Well, we will continue to search for survivors for the rest of the day and possibly the next couple of days. Our information is that the um, water conditions are quite good and that the um, survivors that we have recovered have all wearing life, life vests, which is a good sign for their survivability. How many have you been able to recover at the moment? We have confirmed 110 survivors. They are all en route to Christmas Island um, via the Australian Defence Vessel HMAS Wollongong, as well as three merchant vessels which, have, um, which were diverted to the area and assisted us throughout the search yesterday. Now, my understanding is that the, the boat was actually found uh, in Indonesian waters. The Australian vessels have obviously come to the situation to rescue these people. Now, uh, what happens in those circumstances? We're going to be taking them to Christmas Island or would would there any be you know any consideration be given to taking them back to Indonesia Look, those are generally questions for the um, Border Protection Command as well as the Indonesian authorities. The Australian Search and Rescue Authorities work very closely with their Indonesian counterparts on a number of distress situations. Um, we have a great partnership and it generally leads to, um, to good outcomes. Now, you were saying that uh, the, most of the people did have uh, uh, um, vests on. Uh, mm -hmm. Were those of the number of people that you rescued or were, were there still people in the water that uh, were, you have not yet recovered? Um, well, as I say, we have recovered 110 survivors and there was, we believe there was about 200 people on, um, on the vessel when it capsized. We have not recovered any survivors overnight, but we'll continue to search for the rest of the day and possibly the next couple of days. Now, you're saying the weather conditions have improved. They were pretty bad yesterday. Uh, tell us uh, what the process will be for today. Okay, well, weather conditions um, seem to be moderate. We have 20 knot winds as well as some isolated showers. T today we are expecting two, um, two more defence vessels as well as four merchant vessels which have been directed to the scene. We're going to have up to five aircraft doing some air surveillance throughout the day as well. And, uh, and then those vessels will be going to Christmas Island? I, I believe so. Jo Mian, many thanks for joining us this You're morning. You're welcome.